Hello there, my lovely Earthlings and alien friends. Today, I am doing a impulsive DIY because I have really wanted to do a photo shoot inspired by this bear for the longest time. Okay, her name is Summer. And I want to do a photo shoot with her, as her, with her, with the outfit inspired by her, but also with her ears. And I did a search across the internet to try and find some rose patterned, rose colored, rose themed bear ears. And such things do not quite exist from what I could find. So today, we are flying off the cuff. And we're going to try and make our own. Um, so I will just go through what I've got here in terms of supplies. I do have somewhat of a plan in mind. So in case anyone has an impulsive need to make some rose themed bear ears. Um, to go with a Build-A-Bear. To not go with a Build-A-Bear. Anyway, anyone who has the need to build some rose themed bear ears feel free to follow along. We've got some floral foam discs. Okay, I have two of them. I don't know if I will need two of them, but I have two of them. Okay, I have plastic headbands. I have three of them. I probably will not need three of them. I will likely only need one of them, but I do have three of them. I have my hot glue gun. I have a lot of hot glue sticks. Hot glue gun glue sticks. Glue gun replace sticks. More than I will ever need in my life. I have red paint. I have a paintbrush. Ooh la la. I have an X-Acto knife. I have scissors. I have these plastic roses. And I have these paper roses that I found. There was only one package of these, so there's a very limited amount of these, to be honest with you. But we're gonna see what we can do. So, first step of executing my plan. I think I'm gonna cut these in half because I don't need them to be as thick as they are. So we're gonna use the X-Acto knife and try to cut this in half without hurting ourselves. It shouldn't be too hard considering the fact that it's foam. I just jumped right the fuck into this project, didn't I? Yeah, no, that's not the way. Okay, what we're gonna do then... We're gonna just have to carve them into their ears. I think I'm gonna take off the bottom part. That was a bad idea. Okay, well that looks like that would fit, right? And so we just need to carve it down. We did it. Let's just carve these back into shape.
We have two bear ears. What looks like somewhat like bear ears. Okay? Like, bear with me here. Pun intended, okay? Bear fucking with me. And now I'm gonna clean up this mess, and then we're gonna paint them. And we're gonna paint the headband, too. Alright, team. We have cleaned up the ridiculous amount of mess that I made from that last step. And now, we have replaced our cutting board with a cardboard piece, cardboard slab. Um, I have both my bare ears here, I have my headband, and I have some red paint. And we are gonna get started on painting these motherfuckers. Let's shake it up because that's what you do with paint. It's acrylic paint. I don't know how well it's gonna like look on the foam, so we're just gonna have to see how it goes. And, like, I'm thinking dabbing is the way to go probably to get the most coverage. Holy hell yeah! Okay, let's get the other one done. I'm making a mess. That's what DIY is all about. All right, now we have two red ears and I'm gonna see if I can get the headband to be red. Okay, I have to go wash off my brush, but I'll be back when these things dry and then we'll see what we can do from there. All right, my lovelies, it is actually two days later and the foam ears are finally dry it seems like the foam kind of soaked in the paint and made it like a really long time to dry but now they're dry and like little paint cookies um that's cute and now we're gonna glue the flowers on them and see if we can get them to look like flower bear ears so we've got our uh, hot glue gun here we've got some of these flowers we've got some plastic flowers over here so we're just gonna go to fucking go to town on it. With no rhyme nor reason. Okay, and I think we're gonna do the same thing for the other ear. So that's kind of what it looks like at the moment. Um, it looks cute, but I might put some on the outside too, depending on how much I have left. So, we'll see.
That's very cute. Um, I have literally two more. Maybe I'll put them at the top to make the arch look a little more archy. I don't know. That seems kind of logical. I'll do that. Because I don't want to waste them. Like, what else am I going to use them for? Dunno. And I feel like we just gotta squish them down so that they look more flat. That's kind of cute, guys. And then I think we're just gonna literally just glue them onto the to the heckin' headband, so. Those are actually fucking cute. I'm gonna wait till the glue dries completely and then we'll do our photo shoot with these. Um, but yeah, these I think are done. These are looking cute. It's not like the, obviously it's not like high quality DIY, but like it'll do for what I'm trying to do. So I think these are done. We're just gonna wait until the glue dries. They're looking super cute. I'm sure if you did this yourself, if you got more of these paper flowers, you could do the back too and like the tops and then it would look like a whole rose bear and it would be look super cute, but we're just taking photos with these, so it'll be fine. So we're gonna let this dry and then and then and then. What we're gonna do next is set up our background. We have to set up our background. So actually that's why I got these plastic roses because I'm gonna set up a black background and then tape these roses to it like falling down the back so that we've got like a black rose background. Okay. But yeah that was that's the conclusion of our bear ear DIY moment. That's super cute. Um yeah and we'll come back and like wear them when they're dry. All right. So this is what I currently have for my background here. I thought that I would have had enough plastic roses in those two bouquets to like fill the entire tablecloth, but it appears that I did not. So I went out and got some, some more plastic roses and we're gonna put these up in the top and on the bottom. I think that's sufficiently colored. Um, and now all that is left to do is situate the lights properly and then go and get dressed in the costume for the photos. <laughs>